it's bike park season. And being bike park season, I figured I'd go to a bike park. But not just any bike park. I'm going to go to Whistler. And if you don't know why that's a big deal, you should check out Seth's bike hacks video about Whistler and why it's a big deal. But what's also quite relative to this video is Seth's second video about Whistler this season, which is about crashing. After seeing he and Alex push themselves on the biggest jumps that they've ever done, I thought it might be prudent to get some body armor to wear while riding park. And if you're like me, you probably don't live at a bike park. So it makes it really difficult for us to find any kind of body armor at our local shop to try on, to inspect, or even just lay our eyes on to see the options available to us. So I did what any Amazon Prime member would do. <laughs> I ordered a lot of options. I'm going to keep what suits me, and I'm going to send the rest back. God bless Amazon. Unlike my last helmet review video, there has not been any real-world testing of these crash garments yet, and I hope there won't be. Rather, I'm hoping this video serves as more of an in-depth look at these products. Um, something to give you a little bit more, for more information and insight as to how these protective garments feel, how they look, and how they fit. As well as to show you some of the individual features a little more closely than Amazon or even the manufacturer's websites do. I should clarify that while almost all of these products are available on Amazon, some of them aren't, and the ones that aren't came highly recommended to me by people I know. Um, but my point is that part of my buying criteria was to find things not only available through Amazon, but were eligible for Amazon Prime. So a little bit about me, uh, since we're talking about garments and whatnot, I'm 5'10", I weigh about 190, 189-ish, right in there. I wear a size 32, 33 jeans, and I waver between a large and extra large t-shirt most of the time. So let's get into it by starting with the armored shorts liner. I narrowed this segment down to two items based on reviews of other consumers. The, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, the Liet, Liet, I don't know, the Liet Impact 3DF 5.0 shorts. And yes, I am reading that because who the hell names shorts like that? Anyway, these are the Impact 3DF 5.0 shorts. And the other ones are from Alpine Stars. This is their Sequence Pro short. That was much easier to say. Sequence Pro from Alpine Stars. But both of them appear to be constructed well and use quality materials. They both utilize pads to protect similar areas. Hips, thighs, hip bones, and tailbones otherwise known as your coccyx. The Liate comes in at a hundred bucks, which is $10 more than the Alpine Stars, and despite that price difference, I chose to keep the Liate product. Basically because the protection feels a little bit more substantial, and it's more like an armored liner, whereas the Alpine Star shorts do have a chamois pad in them, and I don't feel like I'm gonna do a lot of pedaling, so I figured I can do without the chamois in exchange for a little extra comfort. So yeah, the shorts are easy, but it's the upper body protection is where I have a more difficult time deciding what I want. Because I want protection in specific areas, I want it to be lightweight and I want it to be breathable, but I also want it to be concealable uh, as well as look good if I want to wear it outside of my jersey. I don't want it to look like a goon if I don't want to put it underneath the jersey. So here are the contenders. From 661, we have the Evo short sleeve jacket at $160. From Troy Lee Designs, we have the 7850 Heavyweight Short Sleeve Shirt for $119. The Trail Knit Pro Armor T-Shirt from Dianese for $190. And the ARG Comp from Bliss Protection for a whopping $226.95. And if I'm really honest, my hopes were really high for this one. Let's start with the Dianese Trail Knit Pro Armor Kit T-Shirt. It was the T-Shirt aspect of this garment that caught my attention because you know, t-shirts are comfortable. And I'm sure this would be very comfortable on the trail, but for $190, there's no way for me to justify the lack of protection this thing has. Just going on the Amazon pictures, I thought there might be some more padding in this shirt, but there really aren't. However, there are some positives for that. If you're just looking to protect your spine and not much anything else, this is a decent option for you, if you don't mind dropping nearly $200 on it. But I wanted more protection, so this one's going back. I wanted the size large Bliss Protection ARG Comp Jacket to be the one, but sadly, it's not the one for me. It's got substantial back protection, a coccyx pad, elbow pads, shoulder pads, and chest pads. But the best feature of this garment is the zipper. 
Getting in and out of these type of uh, protection garments can be cumbersome and a zipper is a really nice feature. But I only had to wear this for about 10 minutes in my air conditioned office to know it's way too hot for me. While the main garment is made of some type of lycra, it's not really a mesh lycra like, like these shorts are. And the pads are not dense, lightweight foam. Uh, they're made of some type of dense, heavy rubber material. So not only is this the hottest garment of the bunch, but it's by far and away the heaviest. All the pads are flat, meaning that they aren't cupped to your elbow or shoulder shape. They have cutouts on them to let them kind of conform to your elbow and shoulder, but they don't really feel that snug on those pivot joints. I feel like if you crash, those pads are gonna kind of slide right out of the way, or they might slide out of the way while you're riding. Anyway, I wanted lighter, I wanted more breathable, so this one's out. <laughs> and my wallet's really happy about that. The 661 Evo jacket was recommended to me by Ryan, the Lone Ranger. Now, he is sponsored by them, but if I judge by their website description and their photos and Ryan's experience with them, this seemed like a very viable option for me. This size large Evo compression short sleeve jacket is well thought out, quality made, protective jacket. It's classified a jacket because it's got a zipper and you put it on like a jacket. Go figure. I really like the zipper part of this. One of the other perks you get with this product is if you use their elbow pads and their shorts liners, they have what's called their padlock system, which as you might guess, locks their pads together. Huh, how funny, play on words. Uh, but these little snaps right here snap into the elbow pads and these little snaps right here snap onto their shorts liners. This is a nice piece of kit and my favorite feature right now is a zipper, but it does have chest padding. This is this is kind of a lower density foam for the chest pads. It's got the same type of foam padding here for your hip bones. It's got some, I don't know what it's called. It's that rubbery stuff. It's like kind of pliable and soft, but when you hit it, it turns hard. It seems like it's got that stuff for the shoulders and for the main part of the back protector here. So it's a nice piece of kit, but let's talk about the TLD 7850 heavyweight short sleeve protection shirt from Charlie Designs. This is a shirt because you have to put it on like a t-shirt. Well, actually you really have to put it on kind of like a set of football pads. And despite TLD calling this a heavyweight shirt, it's very light in terms of weight and very breathable. It has a substantial amount of padding and better than that, you can choose to take out certain pads should you feel it unnecessary to use them. I do like the ability to pick and choose those pads. And for sizing on this one, I fell right in between a large and extra large, so I went with the extra large. It's comfortable, but it is a touch loose. So I like the TLD and I like the 661. And so I started thinking about how I fall. That didn't work out very well. Going back to Seth's bike hacks, he has a video about learning how to fall and it's excellent advice because when you see those people in Instagram clips and they look like they're going to die and then they just jump off their bike and walk away virtually unscathed, it's because they know how to fall. They've learned. And I too have learned how to fall, but as a skateboarder rather than a mountain biker. When I fall, I tend to land on hands, then my forearms and elbows take a pretty big hit. Then I tuck and roll, leaving the back of my shoulder to absorb most of the rest of the impact. But my hip and thigh and the outside of my knee tend to take hits as well somehow. While I do have elbow pads, I have a tendency to not wear them, even though my forearms and elbows tend to get jacked up the most. So I hatched a plan. The extra large TLD shirt was a bit big. I decided to order the long sleeve version of that shirt in a size large for $175. The size large long sleeve shirt came in and it fits really well. It's still very comfortable, but much more fitted. The elbow pads are substantial, but not cumbersome at all. And the whole garment is quite unobtrusive. Knowing I'll wear the torso protection, I decided to keep the TLD heavyweight long sleeve protective shirt. This way I'll be forced to wear forearm and elbow protection. I do think that I would be happy with the long sleeve version of the 661 Evo jacket at $190 which also has elbow pads, but I like how lightweight the TLD garment is and the ability to remove undesired pads was the clincher. This thing has 30 separate pads, 30 of them. Of those 30 pads, 20 of them are removable for customization, ease of packing, or just ease of washing. 
The only part of this that is quite snug is the forearm area, but I figure given the amount of braking bombs and arm pump that I'll have, a bit of compression on the forearms won't be a bad thing. Outside of the elbow pads, it's identical to the short sleeve version. I hope I don't have to test it out, but if I do, I feel like it'll provide the protection that I'm looking for. Yep. Final selections are the Liate Impact 3DF 5.0 shorts and the TLD 7850 Heavyweight Long Sleeve Protection Shirt. All in for $275 on Amazon Prime. So I guess that's it. Oh, uh, for those following along, I decided to mount a camera to my POC full face helmet for my Whistler trip instead of the Bell Super DH. It should be a blast and I do plan on making some videos. So if you like my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so so that you don't miss any of those Florida boy, Florida boy rides Whistler videos. Either way, I'm stoked that you're here and until next time, thanks for watching.